Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm a movement teacher and dancer based out of Vancouver, Canada, and this is my tutorial for Yummy Ummies, aka Irresistible Internal Pelvic Circles for Raksharki or Belly Dance, but that's a little less catchy. So first I'm going to demonstrate a basic approach to the movement just to kind of get you started. It's good if you're newer to dancing and it's a good way to approach the movement, but it can leave out some necessary details. So then for once you get used to that or for the more experienced dancers, I'll show you some specific isolations which are going to make the movement safer and juicier. And then I'm going to put it together in my special sequence, which is my secret for extra yummy ummies. This is all going to happen in one short tutorial, so think of this is a crash course, but I would love for you to join me for my ongoing in-person and online classes to study with me if you'd like to dive deeper into these techniques and more. So first we're going to start with basic posture as always. The feet are close together and slightly turned out. The inner arches lift up so you're not pronating the feet in and relax the toes. Knees are soft. Pelvic floor, your P muscles, are engaged 10%. The pelvic wall pulls up and in to create a neutral pelvis and spine. The glutes are relaxed. Your hips are underneath or slightly behind your chest. The chest is lifted forward and up. The shoulders pulled back in down, nice long neck, relax your jaw, and don't forget to breathe. So now imagine that your pelvis is a bowl. <laughs> And we're going to be spilling water out of the bowl. So imagine the bowl is full of water. So we want to, this is going to be your right side. I'm mirroring you. So we want to bring the right side up to spill the water out of the left side. And that bends the left knee slightly. The right knee is still bent, but a little bit less. Then we're going to spill the water out of the back of the bowl, tucking the pelvis in, and then both knees are going to be slightly bent. Then we'll lift the left side up to spill water out of the right side of the bowl, which bends the right knee more and the left knee stays bent just a little less. And then we'll release the pelvis forward to spill the water out of the front of the bowl. So we spill left, lifting right, spill back, tucking front, spill right, lifting left, and spill front, releasing and then smooth it out, and that gives you your internal circle. Now this works in theory, and it can get you there, but it's missing some details, and without those uh, extra details, your circle can start to become a little bit skeletal and external, and it can start to pop in your hips a little bit or hurt the lower back. So we're gonna take this basic rudimentary understanding of that bowl and spilling the water, and we're gonna add some details. Okay, so let's add some technique. The part of the circle when we spill the water out of the back of the bowl, aka when your pelvis tucks in, let's go over that. So when we lift the pubic bone up, it's important that it goes up and in, so back. If it just goes up, it can actually make it look like it's coming forward as well, which can make your whole circle look a little bit thrusty, which isn't necessarily the look that we're going for. So we want to make sure that the pubic bone comes up and in and the lower back gets longer and pulls back while you're spilling the water out of the back. We also want to make sure that we're keeping the glutes relaxed because when you squeeze your butt muscles, it has a tendency to push the pelvis forward, which can contribute to that kind of 80s jazzercise circle that we're not going for. And it can also um, make your hips pop or click a little bit as you come around the front of the circle. So if you've had issues with that before, squeezing the glutes might be the culprit. So we want to isolate the pelvic wall, these muscles in the front of the pelvis, this to pull that pubic bone up and in, keeping the glutes relaxed and make sure the pelvis is moving back. Then, when we spill the water out of the front of the bowl, so that release part, this is where people tend to hurt their lower back. So it's really important that you don't release completely. You don't just go bleh and kind of let the whole pelvis spill out because now there's no support for the lumbar spine, for the lower back. So we want to make sure that the pelvic floor, the P muscles, and the pelvic wall stay engaged about 10%. So you're only releasing part way. And there still is this containment and support for the lower back. And make sure you're not pushing or contracting through the low back. So 
increase your range of motion for that up and in part, the spilling the water out of the back part, so that you don't need to release as much and still get a nice contrast of your circle without sticking the booty out. So once you've mastered and gotten more comfortable with that pelvic isolation, the secret ingredient to my yummy ummies is the psoas isolation. So if you're familiar with the psoas muscle, which inserts in your back and comes through the abdomen and out the groin into the leg, we're not isolating just this muscle, but kind of using it and some of the surrounding pelvic muscles where it comes out from the pelvis uh, into the groin. So this this part of the body is going to be engaging up and in, same as that pelvic wall isolation. So this is what I call a diagonal tuck. So I'm going to bring the right, your right, on the right side, your right psoas up and in, and the opposing SI joint or venous dimple goes back and down. Keep the chest lifted, keep your feet flat on the floor, keep your glutes relaxed, and keep the knees soft. So then this is left psoas and right psoas, left, right. And I'll show you in the mirror. So now this is your right, this is your left, right, left, right, left. That diagonal tuck is going to be the secret ingredient to your yummy ummies, making sure that it's not hippy and uh, skeletal and external and no clicking in the hips as well. So that one's tricky, but once you get it, let's put it into the sequence. So here is my sequence for yummy emmies. Number one, engage your right psoas, then engage the pelvic wall, then engage your left psoas, then release your right psoas, release the pelvic wall, and then the left psoas. Engage right, center, left, release right, center, left. Engage right, center, left, release right, center, left. Now smooth it out with what I call the as sequence. So as you're finishing engaging that right psoas, you're starting to engage the pelvic wall. And as you're finishing engaging the pelvic wall, you're starting to engage the left psoas. And as you're finishing engaging the left psoas, you're starting to release the right psoas. And as you're doing that, you're releasing the center and left, etc. So right as center, as left, as release right, center, left. As you engage right, center, left, as you release right, center, left. And then reverse it to go the other way. So we're going now left to right. When we go to the right, it's clockwise. When we go to the left, it's counterclockwise. So now let's go clockwise, left, center, right, left, center, right, engage, left, center, right, release, left, center, right. Pelvic floor is squeezing with that pelvic wall. Glutes stay relaxed using all of the technique that we talked about before for that pelvic isolation and the psoas isolations. It's like a zipper that zips up and then unzips from the same direction. Here it is in the mirror so you can see from the back. So now this is right and this is left. So going counterclockwise, right to left, right to left, right to left, and then going clockwise, left to right, left to right. Glutes relaxed. Make sure your chest is lifted, shoulders down, breathe, heels on the floor, relax your toes, and enjoy it. A handy tip is to push the upper belly out a little bit in that in part. So when you're engaging the pelvic wall in, push the upper belly out a little bit, and this will help to contrast any tendency for that mid waist to contract. So then it looks like the ummy's happening in the pelvis and not in your waist, right? So we wanna drop it down low and not have it happen in the center. Imagine you're grinding spices with your pelvis. So it's this sort of grindy motion. And then once you get comfortable with it, try to layer a chest shimmy on top and you can travel with it. The more you use the techniques from the video to isolate the, mo the move into the pelvis, the easier it is to layer with other things. 
please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or comments. Remember to be nice to yourself and have fun with it. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out my website, racheldance.com, for more info on me and my classes. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time. Thank you.